29-year-old Jacob Blake was shot multiple times in the back by police as he tried to get into his car. He remains hospitalized in stable condition. Mola Lenghi is in Kenosha, and a quick warning, we are about to show you some disturbing video. Mola, what are you seeing this morning? Oh, well, good morning, Anthony. Firefighters just left this scene. What was a furniture store that was set on fire overnight? As you can see, some flames uh, rekindling there in the back. The entire site, as you can see, uh, still smoldering. And firefighters are still running around town dealing with several sites uh, just like this one. The governor deployed 125 members of the National Guard here yesterday uh, to help as those peaceful protests during the day turned destructive after the 8 p.m. curfew. Protesters in Kenosha defied a citywide curfew Monday night and came face to face with police dressed in riot gear. Demonstrators are calling for officers involved in Jacob Blake's shooting to be held accountable. Well, setting this truck on fire right here behind me is how some protesters have responded to the authorities' use of stun grenades, of tear gas, sonic blasts, all in an effort to try to disperse protesters who have stayed out past curfew. Shot fired. The clashes come in response to this video. Police responding to a domestic disturbance call Sunday evening. I'm going to post Jacob Blake. Jacob's supposed to be there, and he took a couple of his keys and refused, is refusing to get them back. The initial encounter with police was not captured on the video. The footage shows Blake walking towards his car. At least one officer with his gun drawn follows him. That officer then grabs his shirt before appearing to fire his weapon into Blake's back at least seven times. It seems to be when it's a black American, they shoot first and then try to justify it later. Blake's lawyer, Ben Crump, says Blake had been trying to de-escalate the domestic disturbance. According to Crump, Blake's three young sons were in the car at the time of the shooting, and police tased Blake before opening fire. Rayshawn White, who asked that we not show his face on camera, says he recorded the incident on his cell phone. Did it just keep getting worse and worse and worse? Yeah, I heard them say, drop the knife. I didn't see a knife in his hands. In a statement, the Kenosha Police Union urged people to know the facts before passing judgment, saying, as always, the video currently circulating does not capture all the intricacies of a highly dynamic incident. What's your response to that? What you see with your eyes is the tragedy that should have never happened by people who were supposed to be trained professionals to de-escalate the situation. And the video speaks for itself. The officers involved in the incident have been placed on leave. Their identities have not yet been announced. Tony. Yeah, in the context of everything here, Mola, black men and boys die at twice the rate, more than twice the rate, in fact, of their white peers. That's why there's such outrage this morning and overnight. Mola, thank you very much. Let's get to those tropical storms in the Gulf.